Greetings, and welcome to part two of our In Computing Platform Integration video series. Today, we'll be discussing best practices for the installation and registration of vSpace Server. To begin, we'll select an operating system. Administrators have a wide selection of operating systems to choose from these days. InComputing has worked to ensure that vSpace is available for the most popular environments. A comprehensive list of currently supported operating systems and InComputing software can be found within our knowledge base. For the purposes of this video, we'll be focusing on the most commonly used software and OS pairing, vSpace Server 6 and 64-bit Windows Server 2008 R2. vSpace Installation As mentioned in the first video of this series, vSpace should be treated as a platform rather than an application. As such, the order of installation should be as follows. Freshly formatted server environment, clean OS installation, then vSpace server software. Once vSpace has been installed, registered, and tested, third-party software can be added to the server as desired. Before we can begin the installation process, let's download the latest version of vSpace Server 6. Start by navigating to incomputing.com and click the Login button at the top right of the web page. Click on the tab labeled Create a New Account. Fill in the required fields as indicated. Note that a confirmation email and further instructions will be sent to the email address that you enter. Click the Create New Account button to complete this process. At this stage, you should check your account for the confirmation email and verification link. If this notification does not appear within a few minutes, explore your spam settings and folder to ensure that it hasn't been discarded. Once you've clicked on the verification link, your browser will be redirected to an account reset page. Click Login to make any final modifications to your account and set your desired password. Click on the Save button to complete this process. A confirmation message will verify that your settings have been saved and you are now free to navigate the website using your new account. To download the latest vSpace Server 6 software, mouse over the Support tab at the top of the web page and select Software Downloads. From the drop-down menu provided, select your access device and operating system. You are now provided with links for downloading the software itself, as well as release notes that outline recent updates and changes. Once the download is complete, right-click on the zip file and select Extract All. Using the zip utility of your choice, Extract the contents to your desktop or any other easily accessed area of your server. Once the archive is unzipped, open the extracted folder and click on the vSpace Server setup file to launch the installation wizard. Proceed through the wizard as instructed. We strongly recommend that the installation process be completed before any antivirus or firewall software is installed on the server. Partway through the installation process, you'll be asked to create Windows user accounts for your access devices. You may do so at this stage or at any point after the installation is complete through the standard Windows Account Management tools. Towards the end of the installation process, you'll be prompted to enter registration information. This is an optional step and is only used to expedite your future registration process by pre-populating the required fields. Once the installation process is complete, a reboot of the server is required.
Now that the server has rebooted, vSpace will initialize in trial mode with certain restrictions in place. These restrictions will persist until both the server software and the access devices have been registered. While in trial mode, a periodic pop-up window will remind the administrator and the users that vSpace has not been registered. This message will continue to appear for 30 days, at which point the product will stop accepting connections and registration will become a requirement for ongoing use. The registration process can be performed in one of two ways, online via the internet or offline through an email account. To begin, we'll review the online registration process. Launch the registration wizard from the start menu on the Windows desktop. Note the options available to you when the wizard is launched. The default option, labeled Register vSpace Server Software, is used to begin all registration attempts, whether they are online or offline in nature. The second option, labeled Get Additional Licenses, is typically only used at the request of in-computing technical support. The final option, Continue Offline Registration, is used after receiving an offline activation file and will be discussed in further detail later in this video. Select Register vSpace Server Software. At this stage, several fields will be presented for you to fill with information specific to your deployment. If you previously filled these fields out during the installation process, the wizard will automatically populate them for you. The next screen will list all of the access devices detected by vSpace at the time that the registration wizard was launched. These devices will be registered with vSpace Server during this process. Note that devices will need to have connected and received a desktop session at least once to appear in the device list at this stage. Even with no devices listed, the vSpace Server software itself will be registered once this process is complete. By default, vSpace will watch for future access device connections and automatically register new devices if an internet connection is available. Note that the registration wizard can be launched again at any point in the future to check for devices that have not yet been registered. Once all required information has been gathered, you're given the option to select your registration method. The online option will resolve itself in real time and your registration status will be applied before the wizard closes. The offline registration option can be selected at this point as well, and we'll be discussing that feature in more detail shortly. In addition to the registration method, you're given the ability to use a proxy if one exists within your environment. A progress bar is displayed as the server contacts InComputing's registration service. Once complete, the results of your registration attempt will be displayed. Note the checkbox at the bottom of the window. When checked, vSpace Server will automatically examine connected access devices and register any devices that have not yet been registered. This process is automatic and no user input is required as long as this feature is enabled. If you decide to disable this feature, you may still launch the registration wizard at any point in the future to check for and register additional devices. Online registration is now complete. In the event that a problem is encountered during registration, a message will appear indicating that there was an issue. The most common causes for this issue are network related. Consult the InComputing knowledge base for ports and IP addresses that should be whitelisted for registration. Search for keyword firewall. If you require any additional assistance while registering your InComputing products, feel free to contact InComputing Technical Support. A support representative will be happy to assist you. Next, we'll review the offline registration process. As previously mentioned, the offline registration process begins in the same way as online registration. Verify that all required fields have been filled and proceed to the registration type window. From the registration type window, select offline registration. You'll next be given the ability to save an offline registration file to the location of your choice. In this example, we'll save the file to the desktop. Review your selections and save the file. A summary will be shown of the data being saved. Once the file has been saved, you may close the registration wizard. It's important to note that the registration file is encrypted and must be sent as is without any edits or alterations. 
In many cases, an online email client works best for this process and we'll be using an online client for this demonstration. Once you've signed into your online email client, compose an email to registration at incomputing.com. Subject and body text are optional. Verify that you've attached the offline registration file to the email before sending. The registration process is automated and a response will arrive in your inbox shortly after the offline registration file is received. If the registration attempt was successful, an activation file will be attached to the response. Save this file to your desktop where it can be moved to the vSpace server in question. From the vSpace server being registered, launch the registration wizard once more. From the initial screen, select Continue Offline Registration. When prompted, direct the wizard to the location of your activation file. A summary page will indicate the status of your offline registration. This concludes the installation and registration portion of this video series. We hope you found this information helpful. For additional guides and tutorials, visit our knowledge base at this link. For technical assistance, contact our technical support team at the following URL. Thank you for your time and for being a part of the InComputing family.